Hello. It's good to see you today. We have a fun little item. Look at this. It's a little log cabin birdhouse. Isn't that adorable? Now on the bottom it does have a way that you can you can slide this open. And like if you need to clean it out or do anything to it, you can open it up. It has a little little ring up here so you can hang it up. It even has a little chimney. <laughs> this is just the cutest little thing. I got this a while back at Christmas tree shops. Um, let's see, it was $9.99. I think it was actually on sale. And they put a little paid sticker on there. It's just so adorable. Look at the little roof on this thing. Oh my goodness. I'm going to stain this with a product that was just made to be pronounced by somebody with a southern accent. <laughs> Wood bold linseed oil. <laughs> Wood bold linseed oil. I wanted to stain it with something that would help protect it but not be dangerous to any birds. I mean, you could probably use regular stain and it would be fine, but I thought I would go with this. I've never used this before, but I thought we would do this. Now, it does take several coats. We're just gonna be doing one coat with this today. It does say on here that you want to apply it liberally with a clean cloth. I'm gonna try a paintbrush. Now, I know it's very watery and I have a little one like for little bits of detail. I know it's watery, but I'm going to try first with a with a little paintbrush. If that doesn't work, we'll go with a, a like a rag or something. Just that you want to apply it and then wipe off any excess after 20 minutes using the same cloth. So I will need a rag to wipe it off. Leave to dry for 24 hours. And then you want to apply three coats to the wood after the previous has thoroughly dried. Reapply as necessary for maintenance. So it's, it's watery, you know, it's not like a thick substance. But I'm gonna try it. I thought this would be fun to try. I have not just an old towel here under it. We do need first to remove this little, this little tag. We don't want that getting in the way. So this is the back of the little log cabin and the sides here. And you know, you could paint this. I, of course, I wouldn't want to stain it. I'm going to protect it first because this is just unfinished, unstained wood here. So I'm, going to ha I'm giving this to someone very special to me. Um, and if you follow my vlog channel or you've been here, you've heard me refer to uh, the witches in my life. <laughs> Not literal witches, but I have been married three times. I, I have no secrets or I don't mind talking about it. Um, and I'll tell you about the, the witches. I, they, they, I give, I don't, obviously I don't want to go around using their names, but they kind of fit the, the witches in The Wizard of Oz. This is for Glinda the Good Witch because his family has a a cabin in the mountains that looks kind of like this. It's actually very similar to this birdhouse. So when I saw it, I said, oh, I have got to get that. And it's out in the country. And um, this will probably go under a uh, covering. There's a there's an overhang in the back. It's probably going to go up under there. So it's not going to be directly out in the elements, but it does need some protection to it. So I, I wanted to give this to him just as a little gift that he can take up there and, and put up a, a little birdhouse that looks like their that looks like their mountain house. So um, yeah, it's it's just very cute. Unfortunately, though, you see this right here where it's that is where Boop, also known as Olive, we call her Boop B O O P. Boop bit it because she likes to bite things. Um, she she bit it right there because she's a horrible little goblin. Oh gosh, she bit it right there too. I just saw that. Um, 
unfortunately, we do have a little damage to our house, but I, it's just cosmetic. I'm not really concerned about it. Now, I don't know if, it, if this stuff will stain my hands. There's a good chance it will. So I'm going to put on some, some gloves. I just have some, some rubber gloves here. I'm going to be putting these on just to, I, I don't want to get this, I don't want to stain my hands with it. So we have gloves for that. And just two old paint brushes. And I have tons of these little brushes. See, this one would be great for getting like down in the nooks and crannies and stuff. Like that. And getting like right up in there. I mean, this one's pretty good too. That one would probably be, this one would probably be fine for detail as well. It's, it's a nice square end there and I thought it would be good to use. So again, it does say you want to apply a total of four coats of this product. We're just going to be doing the first one today and then I will carry on with it later. I'll do, I'll make sure to do all four before I give it to him. So I thought it would be a fun little project to do. Um, I want to put this in something. So we're going to use the cup that we use when we paint our paint by number postcards. This is just an old cup that my kids used to use. Um, they don't use it anymore. Um, so I'm going to put some in the bottom of this. It doesn't really, I mean, it's already stained from, you know, cleaning paint brushes and stuff in it. So I'm not really worried about it. So I thought I would just put some in here so that that way I can just kind of, you know, dip the brushes in here instead of trying to, you know, do it some other way. I thought it might be a little, a little bit easier. So I'm going to go ahead and put my gloves on before I open up that container. Okay, I have my little rubber gloves on here. So I did shake this up. It, uh, I didn't say that you had to, but I did anyway. So again, this is from Furniture Clinic Wood Bold Linseed Oil. It says that it penetrates wood to form a tough and slightly glossy finish. It does say that all soaked materials may spontaneously ignite. So just got to keep that in mind. You know, don't put in, you know, like, don't light a candle near it or anything. It has the Good Housekeeping Seal. I bought this on Amazon. Um, I've never tried it before. So this will be the first time that we try that I've ever tried this. Let's see how this looks. Wood bold linseed oil. Let's just do it looks like a little bit of tea or something. Oh, it has a strong nutty smell to it. Definitely. Let's see what this looks like on here. So I'm going to take my brush and just dip it in there a little bit. And we're just going to try it out. Well, that wood is just soaking it up. to get boops bite marks and we are just going to continue so the witches I've explained this before but for new people you might say who is she talking about who is who is Glinda the good witch who is that well my first husband we were married very briefly I was much younger than I am now and we met at my brother's wedding. And um, 
my brother and his wife were involved in an abusive church. We didn't see it for that at the time, but we do now. Anyway, that would be the Wicked Witch of the East, my first husband. Not a very integral part of the story. Oh, that looks beautiful. Look at that. Not an integral part of the story. Not around for very long. Um, and seems to exit the story very quickly. So we weren't married very long. It's a long story short. It, it didn't work out. So he's no longer around. Actually, I have no idea where he went. I'm not really worried about it. Um, oh, that looks, that looks so good. That, okay, well, I mean, it's still wet, so obviously it's going to look shiny, but that looks beautiful. So then, second husband, the Wicked Witch of the West. What do we know about the Wicked Witch of the West? Well, we do know that the Wicked Witch of the West was more evil and meaner than her sister much bigger part of the story. Um, flying monkeys, if you're, if you're familiar with the terms of narcissist, you know, narcissism, you know what flying monkeys are. Definitely had flying monkeys. Um, and just all around not great experience. That's the Wicked Witch of the West. I don't really talk about the first two that much because they're just not a part of my life anymore, so I don't worry about it. But then you have Glinda the Good Witch. Now, Glinda the Good Witch is a witch, is an ex, but, oh, we, go, we have to get up under there, but not, not wicked, not evil not terrible. So, but the deal with that was we had, between the two of us, we had five kids, all boys, all under the age of 12. And basically, God, that looks so good. I cannot get over it. Basically, we were a blended family that didn't blend, unfortunately. It just... You know, we tried counseling, therapy, all kinds of stuff. We were just, it just didn't work with the seven of us living under one roof. So, unfortunately, we did, we did part ways. But we have remained an integral part of each other's lives. And I sincerely hope that it stays that way. I'm very happy with my my relationship status, and I hope that we continue to be a part of each other's lives. So, we're not really worried about the future. We're just happy with things the way they are right now. Not to get into too much detail, but yeah, that's Glinda the Good Witch. And his family is the one that I was saying has this mountain house. I cannot get over how good that looks. <laughs> Just one coat of this bold, bold linseed oil. Wood bold linseed oil. Oh my star. I'm very happy. Let's come on down this way. Get the door. I thought this might be a little bit better to use than some kind of, you know, harsh chemicals or something. I mean, you have to do four coats, but that's okay. It's actually quite fun to do this. It's, it's relaxing. I like it. This is going to look so good. We may have to come back and do the other coats together. I want to I want to see how much darker it gets. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more of this. If you do, 
we'll do it together. We can do the other coats. Now you do have to wait 24 hours between coats, but that's all right. It's kind of hard to get to it because of the little, little post right here. Don't forget that. use much. A little definitely goes a long way. Goodness gracious, this is pretty. I like it. I'm going to buy more products and do this. Maybe we could do that. With these edges here, because they're textured, see they're cut? work it into the texture. There. I'm trying to keep my head out of the way, but sometimes I, I get focused and I start doing like that. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my gosh. That is so pretty. I'm so glad I found this. This is just a little surprise. It's not a special occasion or anything. I just thought he would like this. And he's been really stressed out at work and I think he would like a little surprise. Okay. The wood just really soaks up that old linseed oil. It really does. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful color. I like it. Don't forget the little stick. And the sides too. would stain your hands. I wasn't really sure how dark it was going to be. It's actually not. It's not terribly dark. So, okay. Let me get these side bits here. do the bottom as well, but I'm not going to do the bottom right now. Because I want the top to dry enough for me to be able to do the bottom and then set it up to dry. Of course, I could just hang it up to dry. I don't really have any good any good place to hang it right now, though. Look at oh, look how pretty that is. So that's what it looks like unfinished. And look at that. Oh, I love it. This is so pretty. Now, let's do the, the base down here on the front. Get a little bit more oil. Make sure you get all the way up in those little nooks and crannies, too. Don't forget the posts. I don't know that I'm going to need that. Well, maybe I will. Let's try it. Get it right up in the corners. It did say you could use a cloth to do this, but I felt with something like this, um, paint brushes might work a little bit better because you have to get into all the little, the little spaces, and I just thought it would work better. You want to go with the grain the wood. And if you're not familiar with that, a lot of people, if you've never worked with wood before, you look at a piece of wood, 
you'll notice that it seems to flow in a certain direction. It's almost, you know, it'll have like, it'll look like it has little lines in it. And that's the grain of the wood. It goes this way. This piece up here on the roof goes this way. See, it looks like it has little lines in it. See, it's like little, I'm not talking about these. I mean, just like the, the natural flow of the piece of wood. So this would be going with the grain. This would be going perpendicular. And you will feel if you do this way, you get more resistance. But if you go with the flow, don't get so much resistance. Very nice. I would say just for the first coat, this looks really good. I'm impressed. Okay, let's bring it around. Look at this part. I don't know. Do you think that's going to stain the cup? I'm going to make sure to rinse it as soon as I finish. Use some Tom dishwashing liquid on it. Go ahead and see if I can get the edge here. And again, you have to kind of scrub it in because it has a texture to it that's a little bit different because it's been cut cross here. Nice. Nice. Now I haven't really done much of this kind of stuff either. I, I really don't have a lot of experience with this. But I've painted my nails a whole bunch. I kind of wonder if that gave me some experience. <laughs> I paint my nails every three or four days or so. I'm just getting the cut ends here of our little logs. This is going to look so cute. Oh my gosh. I'm not going to paint it or do any kind of other stuff to it. I just want to keep it kind of natural. That's another thing I like about this linseed oil. that it, it leaves kind of like a natural look to it. It's not artificial looking. That is such a beautiful color. Get up under here. Lots of little nooks and crannies. This, this little birdhouse has been sitting on my chest of drawers for months and I've been meaning to do this. I've had this bold linseed oil just about as long and I just never got to it. Well, we're getting to it now. Better late than never. Do you see how you have these lines? That's just natural. That's just how the wood looks. And uh, we just go along with that. Someone always makes the comment, how can somebody divorce you? So I'll just preempt that by saying, honey, none of them divorced me. Them. I filed and got my own divorces for the last, the second two. 
they did not leave me. I don't think I've ever been dumped. There was this one guy in college I dated for a while. And we never officially broke up. We just, I don't know. I think there was almost a mutual decision to just not date anymore. It was weird. We had been dating for like three months. And one day he just stopped calling me and I just stopped calling him and that was like, we never discussed it. I think there was an episode of Seinfeld where uh, Janine Garofalo was on there and Jerry and Janine's character did that. I don't remember, but it was kind of like that except there was no discussion at all. We just kind of stopped talking to each other. Nothing happened. There was no fight. There was, I don't know. I think we literally just both mutually decided to stop and we just stopped talking <laughs> and went on with our lives. <laughs> oh man. I don't know what happened. Anyway, I'm not worried about it. Okay, so now we're on the back side of the roof up here. Would I ever get married again? I, I don't know, honestly. Glenda the Good Witch and I have talked about it very candidly, and um, we both agree that we like our lives the way they are now. Um, you know, we, we like being on our own, doing our own thing. So for now, I, I don't see it happening, no. I, I like my life the way it is. I mean, we live eight minutes apart, so it's it's not hard to get together for, you know, if we want to go do something. It's not a big deal. So, no, at this point, I don't plan to get remarried. I, I don't really miss being married. I like being able to just do my own thing. That's just me. I mean, everybody, everybody has different preferences, and stuff and this is just what I like. Oh, that looks so good. Look at that. Let's do this side. Okay, so you see what it looks like now? Watch this. Oh my goodness, that is so beautiful. Oh, wow. Look at the top. Oh, now I will say The subsequent coats probably will not be this drastic. It would not be this drastic of a change, I would imagine. But if you want to see it, just let me know. And, um, oh, that looks so pretty. It's so pretty. We still have to do this side, though. But if you would like to see it, yeah, definitely let me know in the comments. And, and if so, if people want to see it, then we'll, we'll get together again and we'll do more. If you want me to ramble about anything, anything you would like me to ramble about, I could do that too. I'm often asked if I have advice for relationships and it makes me laugh. Like, I'm probably not <laughs> the best person to ask for relationship advice. I am the first to admit that I am not great. I just, I don't know. I kind of think I'm just better on my own. Not because I want to go on a bunch of dates and be with a bunch of people, because I really stay to myself most of the time. I'm not interested in that. I don't know, I just... I think I just do better the way I am right now. I'm happier this way. Okay, now we have this side to do. So here's what it looks like. We add the stain or the oil to it. Look at that. Oh man. That is so cute. That is so adorable. I love it. And that bottle would go a long way. I mean, I don't think even doing four coats on this, I don't really think we're going to use much at all. And it wasn't terribly expensive. Um, I did get it on Amazon. You can, I'm sure you can get it in a bunch of
bunch of other places too. So yeah, relationship advice, I'm probably not the person. Growing up, I never saw a happy, healthy marriage. I didn't. I didn't know what one looked like. I think a lot of people can say the same. I just never saw a happy married couple. My parents stayed together for my brother and me much longer than maybe they should have. I don't know that that's always the right thing to do. But they did what they thought was best. I have no ill will or anything. I, they truly did what they thought was best. But they're divorced now. They split up right after I left for college. Like literally two months after I left for college, they split up. Because I, I was the only kid they had left. So my brother had been gone for four years. Yeah, I, I think that affected my relationships as an adult, among other factors that affect my relationships. So, I'm probably not a good person to ask. You're supposed to do after you apply this you want to give it some time it said 20 minutes but some of this will have been sitting longer than 20 minutes there's going to be some ex excess oil on the outside oh look at this look at this oh. you're going to want to wipe that off with a rag of old towels and old rags around. It's good too if you have kids or pets because you never know when you're going to have to clean up something big and gross. <laughs> like if you have a kid with a stomach bug or something and they can't keep anything down. Yeah. Having towels is good. Same with pets. My kids are teenagers now. I don't really have too much trouble with stuff like that. But it's good to have... It's good to have towels. Like, you never know when your washing machine is gonna leak all over the floor or something and you need to clean up a big mess in a hurry. But you don't want to mess up your good towels. So I just keep a bunch of old ones around. I have a whole shelf of them in the linen closet. That is so pretty. Oh my gosh. Look at that. I like this side especially. Something about the wood is just different over here. Like you have this. This is pretty. This is nice. But this side to me is more interesting. I like it. It's darker. It's just cool. This is this is very satisfying to me. I love doing this. this way so I'm, I'm going with the green this way I would say though I am going to be 50 this year 
and I am happier with my life, you know, even though it's kind of tumultuous at the moment. Um, my ad revenue has been cut in half and my day job has also gone away, so I have lost that income as well. I'm looking for a new day job. But, and, and that's not great. Let me see if I can get up in there with this one. It's kind of hard to get a little spot. But as far as my, as far as my life in general goes, I'm, I'm happy. I, I like, I like the, I like, I like the situation of my life at this point. Look at the underside. I don't have any conflict. I don't have any drama. I have peace in my life. And that, to me, is worth more than all the money in the world. Just to have peace. Just peaceful. That's worth more to me than anything you could offer me. Let me see if I can get the inside of that, too. And I am going to do the bottom, but again, I want to wait until it dries a bit. So I can turn it over and... I missed a spot right there. I'm going to just take a little bit and get that right there. That brush sucks. <laughs> this one's better. So there we have it. Look at this. Oh my gosh. I think it turned out really, really pretty. 
I can't wait to do more coats to see how it looks. Look how much darker this side is. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to doing more coats. I can't wait to see. And then I'm going to surprise him with his little birdhouse. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed getting to see this happy little birdhouse get a coat of wood bold linseed oil today. That was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed doing that. I think it looks really pretty. And thank you so much for being here. I really hope that you have a wonderful day. I will see you again really soon.